In this recording, we will look at matrix addition, both in terms of how we can add two matrices and when, in fact, it is possible to do so. And matrix addition is defined if and only if two matrices are of the same order, where remember that the order of a matrix is the number of rows by the number of columns. For example, here two matrices are shown, A and B, where both of these have three rows and two columns, meaning that these are both order three by two, for instance. And to add those matrices, you then add the corresponding elements together. So that, for instance, in the first row and column of A, we would have element A11, while in the first row and column of B, we have element B11. So that in the first row and column of A plus B, we would have the sum of those two elements, A11 plus B11. And we then proceed in the same way for the first row and second column of each of the two matrices, adding their elements and the same matching up and adding the other elements of the two matrices. So applying this to an example, here we have three matrices A, B and C. And we want to see which one of these matrices is it possible to add to one of the others. And to see which two of these matrices we can add, let's look at the order of each matrix. Now matrix A has two rows, so order two by three columns. So that is two by three. While matrix B has three rows, so order three by two columns. So those two matrices are not of the same order because they have different numbers of rows and columns to each other. So it would not be possible to calculate A plus B. Whereas matrix C has two rows and three columns, so it is order two by three, meaning that it would be possible, in other words, it would be defined to add matrix A to matrix C. So let's just do that. So A plus C is going to be equal to three, zero, negative two, five, eight, seven, plus eight, one, negative nine, four, four, two. And so once again, the resulting matrix is clearly going to have the same order. Again, it is going to be a two by three matrix. So the first row, first column elements are added. So three plus eight in the first row and first column of our new matrix. In the first row and second column of the new matrix, zero plus one while in the first row, third column, negative two plus negative nine, which is negative two minus nine. Similarly, in the second row, first column, five plus four. Second row, second column, eight plus four. And second row, third column, seven plus two. So therefore, simplifying that, three plus eight is 11. 0 plus 1 is 1, negative 2 minus 9 is negative 11, 5 plus 4 is 9, 8 plus 4 is 12, 7 plus 2 is 9. So therefore our matrix A plus C will have the following form in this case.